Behind this picture postcard scene, the reality of Northern Ireland in the 1930s was one of rural poverty, high unemployment, high death rates from disease, and a daily battle for survival. Add to the brew long nurtured hatreds and tough competition for jobs. Would the government at Stormont ease the growing tensions in a bitterly divided society? Some politicians on both sides made their sectarian preferences plain. Sir Basil Brooke, the Minister of Agriculture in 1933, advised unionists to employ only Protestant lads and lassies. Oh, that was one of the statements that I made and regretted. And uh, I remember Lord Shawcross making uh, a very wise remark that all politicians sometime during their career either say or do something they regret. But um, you must understand that the circumstances were pretty difficult. I was at that time coming down to the special constabulary here, and I was informed on very, very good information that the Roman Catholics who were employed by me to the tune of somewhere between 12 and 15, I can't now remember how many, were to be used in the kidnapping of my eldest son. And I believed it to such an extent that he was never allowed outside the gate. I used to put it entirely differently nowadays. But at that time, naturally, I was very hurt for one thing. I knew quite a number of them. They were friends of mine, the RCs on the farm. And I would never put it in that way now.